how to skate is to march. So basically marching is lifting up your knees and walking on the ice. You're going to get steady and still and try to keep your core strong. But if you ever feel like falling, you're going to put your arms out and then grab your knees. Believe it or not, falling is one of the most important parts of the sport. So when I first learned how to skate, I want to make sure that I fall on purpose. As you can see here, Cyrus and Mira are trying to get up. And the proper way to get up is to stand on both your knees and hands planted on the ground like you're a cat. Exactly like that. And then you're gonna put one knee up and you're gonna put both hands on that one knee and push yourself up. Now that we have the marching and the falling down, it's time to test our marching skills to see if we can balance on two feet for a two foot glide. It's really important for us to test out if we tied our skates properly. And we wanna make sure that we can balance on those two skinny blades of ours by putting our feet together and squeezing our butt cheeks so that we can march, 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 and stay strong with your core to glide. Now that we have that down, it's time for the one foot glide. The one foot glide starts out with a two foot glide. And then we're gonna pick up one of our feet and we're gonna press that foot against our ankle so we could stand up like a flamingo. Now it's on to swizzles. Swizzles are a more advanced version to move both backwards and forwards in skating. Here we're starting out with forward swizzles in which we're creating two different shapes with our feet. So the first one is a V and the second one is an A. V to A, V to A. Now we're gonna start by bending our knees and we're gonna push off through our heels to create a circle that closes off with our toes together. V to A, V to A. Now that we're going a little bit faster, it's time to learn how to stop. So this is called the snowball stop. This is the most simple way to stop when you're first learning how to skate. And the best way to start is to create a pile of snow like Cyrus is doing. So how do we create this snow? Well, we're gonna bend our knees with our feet together and then we're gonna push out as much as we can. It's really difficult when you first learn how to skate because you have to manage the pressure on your blades. So the best way to do this is to stand still while you're stopping. When you get the hang of it, then you'll be able to do it while you're moving, just like Mira. Okay, so the next biggest thing that we're gonna cover is skating backwards. So now that we learned the forward swizzles, it's time to learn the easiest way to go backwards with backward swizzles. So Cyrus is demonstrating the same exact mechanics with the A to V positioning of the feet. But the only difference is that he's doing it from A to V instead of V to A. And the biggest thing to learn about the backward swizzles is to not lean forward too much. You have to have your belly button upright so then you're not gonna be on your toes to fall over. The next way to go backwards is with backward wiggles. So here, we're gonna do a ski-like motion with our feet side by side. And we're gonna go from left to right, left to right. We're pretending that we have a tail like a dog and we're gonna wiggle backwards with our arms moving in a washing machine-like motion. As you can see, Cyrus and Mira are bending their knees aggressively. All this action stems from the knees and the ankles in order for you to get the backward wiggle correctly. 
Now, the next step is stroking. So this is the way that you ideally want to learn how to skate. It's not the basic version anymore. This is the more advanced version in which you see pro athletes skate this way. So I'm utilizing a T position when I first start and I'm gonna bend my knees in order for me to push off the inside edge. And I'm gliding on one knee and I'm pushing with all my power from the back leg. So we're gonna sit and put pressure on that back foot and glide forward. Notice my posture in which my arms are out to the side, my chin is up and my belly button's upright. You wanna make sure that you have a slightly arched back and you push forward in the direction of where you wanna go. And one last thing, the bonus round is the two foot spin. So the two foot spin starts out with your hands out with your two feet stuck together. And you're gonna pick up your feet and march in a circle and then you're gonna stop moving and pull your arms in. That's the two foot spin. Thank you so much Mira and Cyrus for helping me out today. And we hope you have a great 2019 in this brand new year and this new season of skating and having fun. We love you all so much and we can't wait to see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Go out first. Okay, we're in the way. <laughs> this is so much work. Oh, this is perfect, good lighting. Okay. I think it goes from the back like <laughs> 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 Hold on, people are screaming in the back. Like, not one that makes my forehead look so big. A lot of people have been asking me. This angle is like up, so my forehead looks really big. Stay positive, kids. <laughs> Stay positive. Okay. Don't okay. talk negatively like these two. If anybody should say something, I literally look like Harry Potter right now. Is this gonna be bloopers?